Good morning. Good to be with you this morning. And uh, we're continuing our series on healthy, build, healthy, uh, sorry, pillars for a healthy Christian business leader. And this, the, um, the pillars that we're building on are healthy relationships, biblical financial values, biblical spirituality, and um, the final one is balanced living. And uh, this week we are actually dealing with pillar number four, which is balanced living. And uh, the series is called Family Vacations. This week, the series is based on one text for the entire week. And the text is Mark chapter 6, verse 30 to 32. The Apostle Paul uh, returned, uh, the, the Apostles returned to Jesus and told him all that they had done and taught. And he said to them, come away by yourselves to a desolate place and rest a while. For many were coming and going, and they had no leisure even to eat. And they went away in the boat to a desolate place by themselves. So yesterday we talked about what is your best family vacation. And, um, you know, and, and again, it's important, I believe, to recognize and to think about those kinds of things. Today we're going to talk about stay, vac staycation or vacation. Which is the best? So staycation or vacation. Um, in covid 19 days, of course, staycation may be the only kind of option we have, really. It might, we might not have any other option. Staycations have uh, been a thing, though, before COVID-19 actually came into play. And uh, people would often say, you know, well, I'm just doing a staycation. Uh, often because, you know, obviously it's cheaper. You don't have to pay for hotels or campsites or... Uh, rent a cottage or anything like that. You already have your living quarters and then just from where you live you just go out on day trips and do different things or you just stay home and and you just kind of work around the house. Now personally um, it took me a long time to get comfortable with the staycation because just of how I'm wired. Uh, I'm not uh, when I'm on vacation uh, I like to relax. I like to uh, go out for dinner or go out for a coffee. I like to sit at the beach. Uh, I like to go for walks along the beach or I like to go for a hike. What I don't want when I'm on vacation is I don't want uh, a project that I'm working on. I don't want chores and I don't I just don't want work. For me that's not a vacation so the idea of staying at home and, and building something or or doing you know all the yard work and stuff like that uh, now I have to say as time went on I got into that a little bit but that's not really a vacation in my mind at least not for me for some people it, it could very well be it, it really depends on how you're wired so what is better staycation or vacation and uh, each person is going to have to determine that obviously for themselves um, it really depends again on how you are wired. Are you the type of person that, uh, that is just quite happy to just be at home and, and not go to the office, uh, not go to your business, not be involved in that way, uh, but just be around the house and do things around the house that otherwise uh, aren't getting done? <clears throat> and some of it might depend also on how many uh, weeks of vacation you have. Right, because if you only have two weeks, then that's one thing. If you have six weeks, um, then that would be maybe something else. You might say, well, I could stay home for a week or two or six weeks and do stuff around the house when I still have four weeks to go and do something somewhere else. Anyways, so um, the, the big question for, for you and for me is simply what makes a vacation a vacation? Um, and so that will determine whether or not staying home, staycation works, or whether you actually need to get on the road somewhere and go somewhere. Uh, again, uh, I recognize with COVID right now, we, we can't go very far, um, but there are still things that we can do that um, would be more vacation-like than just uh, staying home and, and working. Uh, what helps you get back uh, 
you know, so you get the break that Jesus described. And again, that passage that I, I just read again, and, and we'll be working from that same passage throughout the week. You know, Jesus talks about coming away or getting away. Jesus talks about going to a desolate place. Jesus talks about um, getting some rest and, uh, and, and, and really getting a break from the busyness of, of life. Those four things. So come away, you know, um, finding somewhere where people can't be bothering you. Uh, so you actually get that break that you need. And then, of course, making sure you actually do get some rest. Now, rest is different for different people. We've talked about that in the past. You know, for some people, rest is literally sitting down reading a book. For others, rest is anything but that. Um, and uh, so it really depends on, again, how you happen to be wired. Um, it's important to remember that you only have now to make those family uh, memories. And that is significant. You know, my children have all been raised now, and they have children of their own. And uh, so they're starting to make those memories, and we're making memories now with our grandchildren, which is great. We'll, we'll love that. Um, once our children were adults, we actually uh, rented a cottage. Uh, we did that twice so far, and we, we certainly want to do something along that line again. But we rented a cottage, and we all got together at the cottage. And, uh, and we had a great time and, and it wasn't, we weren't necessarily doing a lot of stuff per se, but we did have a great time, um, even with the mice. I mean, one of the cottages we rented, it was, uh, it was, it was a quaint little place. Um, and, and, and it was kind of cool, but, um, there, there were mice kind of everywhere. And, uh, but that didn't, that didn't spoil the fun. In fact, it added to the fun. In fact, we, we reminisce even about that a little bit. And then the next one we rented was quite a nice cottage and it did not have the mice, which was definitely a good thing, but it was more remote. And so there was kind of less things to be done. And so anyways, uh, yeah, we, we, you know, you can really make good memories and that's what vacation, um, is really good for making good memories. And we're going to talk more about that uh, in the coming days, the importance of vacation for kids, you know, for your children, for your family. Also, we're going to talk about um, the importance of vacation for your business and uh, how important that is. And so, anyways, today, as we conclude today, is simply consider what is the best for you and your family, a staycation or vacation. As you go about your day, think about that. What is best for your family? And then maybe soon get back to being able to travel. I look forward to that. Being able to get back on the road, be able to get out there and do different things and go different places. Well, have a great day. And again, I'll see you tomorrow. May the Lord bless you.